So how exactly will President Biden's decision impact us here in Nevada? Well, let's go ahead and bring in Shelby Swartz with Battleborn Progress to talk about more. And Shelby, a lot has been going on, and I have to ask you, are voters on the Democratic side re-energized from this news? Yes, thank you so much for having me. We are definitely seeing voters have a new energy and a new hope now that we have um, you know, the prospect of Vice President Harris at the top of the ticket. Uh, we saw that there was $75 million raised via Act Blue in the last 24 hours. That doesn't speak volumes of who people will open up their wallets to support. I think um, there's really nothing else that can show you how excited voters really are. How do you think this is gonna impact Nevadans specifically? So Nevada was already a battleground state before the president's announcement. It will still be a battleground state moving forward. I think Nevadans will, you know, we have long been the deciding factor in a lot of these uh, top of the ticket races for president. The path to the White House runs through Nevada and that is still um, very relevant today. And I think now the voters here in the state might even be more important uh, because we're gonna be making the call between this new young, you know, prosecutor candidate in Kamala Harris versus a 34 time convicted felon pushing 80 right so um Nevadans will be the ones making the choice about who takes the White House in November thank you Shelby now curious when it comes to Battleborn I'm pretty sure you all have been following the news very closely this has been a wild ride right now what is your yes. organization's role when it comes to politics yeah so we are a progressive organization we call ourselves the mouthpiece of the progressive movement here in Nevada, we don't endorse, but we support issues. And we know that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have been champions for the issues that we care about in the White House. They have worked to uh, protect women's rights, a uh, woman's right to choose, pregnant people's right to choose. They have created jobs. They've created 286,000 jobs here in the state of Nevada alone. Unemployment has dropped to historic lows. They have really been champions for the causes and the people that we care about from the White House. And I expect nothing less from uh, you know, if we are, if we see Kamala Harris take the White House in, in January, uh, I expect nothing less than to see a continuation of those policies that have really done amazing things for our state. What would you say are the top three issues that Nevadans care about the most right now in this political climate? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the top issue that is on everybody's mind, I mean, it's on my mind, is housing. And we've seen the Biden-Harris administration put forward uh, groundbreaking policies to create new housing, to build new housing, to protect renters, to put caps on rent increases. That's incredible. Uh, I know women's rights are at the top of everybody's minds, the right to choose abortion rights. Uh, you know, we've been working very closely with Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom to enshrine those rights in our state constitution. But the issue of a, a nationwide ban is very much on people's minds. It's a, 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 a prominent piece of Project 2025, which is essentially the Republican platform. And, you know, Vice President Harris has been a champion on women's rights. And then the other piece as well, I mean, economy is also something that everybody's thinking about, you know, we feel the impacts of, um, you know, still to this day, the impacts of COVID-19, even four years later, five years later. Um, and, you know, the, the Vice President and the President from the White House have worked to, you know, lower inflation to historic lows, to put more money in people's pockets. and. Um, I'm just, I'm very hopeful that now with this new energy coming to the campaign, that people will come out in, in droves to support, you know, whoever the candidate is, if it is Vice President Harris, I think she has more than proven that she values the people of Nevada and will continue to fight for us. Shelby Swartz, the Executive Director of Battleborn Progress, thank you so much for coming by. I'm pretty sure you all are going to have your hands full following the news and see what's next to come. Um, buckle up. <laughs>